chasing the police every single day. Are you there, Mr. McGee? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, hey, what's up? Uh, hey, there. Hey, so, uh, so what, what's going on? Why are you not out yet? I get out on the 21st. 22nd. All right. The 22nd? The 22nd? <clears throat> yeah. 21st at midnight or 22nd during the day. All right. Wh uh, why are they chopping your face? Okay. No, he doesn't, like, stand up. Oh, all right, that's fine. They just want to see your face one well, step. You don't got to stand up. <laughs> wow. Wow. So what's going on? What did they get you with? Um, actually, they got me with the VOP, but I found an appeal. I filed an appeal on the VOP, and that's still... In the appellate courts, I got it in the habeas corpus in the Supreme Courts, and then I got it also in the appellate courts. And the other case is the other case is still pending. I'll be out before it gets to trial. I've already served. Uh, I already served the maximum sentence because they gave me a summons, and they had me on hold. So they had to give me credit time served from the time they. The, the, way, the, the way it's read in Wade versus the state of Florida, Ross versus the state of Florida, and Hill versus the state of Florida. Once, right. once they uh, issue the summons, arrest you, give you a no bond hold, and arraign you, they have to give you credit time served for every time you spent in jail. So the maximum they could give me is one year, and I've already served one year, so I'll be out before I even go to trial. All right, that'll work. So, so, what got you in jail this long? One thing, two things, three things. Um, what got me in jail was the violation of probation for the for the arrest that that I have going to court right now, which is illegal. Right. And I've already proven it right. was I've already proven it was ille an re illegal arrest. Right. Right. So. All right, uh, so everybody wants to know what happened about this, uh, you made a video, of video. they investigated us for nine months. Dude, they tried to get us for a second-degree misdemeanor. Did they ever approach you? No. Wow. Well, they did. Like, they never approached me on that matter. Yeah. But they did approach me, and they did tell me that they... Uh, got a an app called Pogo, and they and they uh, use Pogo to uh, to um, what's the word I'm looking for? They use Pogo to get to uh, break my passwords and get into my my Facebook apps over my phone and my YouTube apps over my phone, so they could uh, record them. And they in fact recorded 50 of my videos. Yeah. Using Pogo illegally without a without a uh, warrant. Wow. Under under KC, let's see, KC versus the state of Florida, Smallwood versus the state of Florida, and I believe it's Raleigh versus California. The United States Supreme Court says any uh, protected password uh, device like a cell phone. Or anything like right. that. Anything like that. If it's if it's if it's password protected, they have to have a warrant for a search and seizure. Even if it's your if your it's your cell phone. Well, the case law is about a cell phone, so of course your cell phone. So and 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 both of my apps, since I'm homeless, both of my YouTube app and my Facebook app are cell phone apps, and they're protected under my passwords. So for them to. Uh, for them to to uh, copy them without a warrant and steal them off of my my apps was illegal. Dude. Dude. Okay, so I tried to get all the documents connected. I'm I'm sure you've heard they dropped all charges because, as you know and I know, that was bogus. I told you that you know I had a lot of lawyers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just try it. We'll sue you to hell. 
we tried to get all documents on that. You, you are correct. They got into everything. They got into my Gmail. They got into my internet provider. They got into Yahoo. They got into dude, Facebook, YouTube, everything. It was outrageous. No, no, I, I, I know they use Pogo. I, I mean, use uh, the officer that did it was uh, Matthew Wedgwood. Oh, I'm sorry, not Matthew Wedgwood, Michael Wedgwood. He's the, he's the, he was the main investigator that used Pogo to get into all of our shit. Uh, hold on, you're breaking in and out, I can't hear you. Uh, you're still doing it, you're, it's like, bop, 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 I can't. You're like breaking in and out, in and out, in and out. They must be recording us again. Oh, there you go. There you go. Now you're clear. Okay, yeah, dude, this is a, the recording's really bad. And did you know they recorded the conversation I had with you about that investigation, and it's in the report? Oh, I'm sure. This one's probably going to be too. <laughs> oh, wait, no, you said they dismissed it, right? Well, they dismissed it, so I tried to pull all the records on it. I'd like you to try to pull all the records on it, too, uh, because you're poor and you can get everything. There's 135 documents in there. I paid for all of them. They only gave me 60, dude. I think there's a lot more documents that are jamming. Well, I, I can I can do it when I get out, and since I know that the officer that did it, because I don't even have it in my transcripts. In my transcripts, he admits that the state's attorney came up to him, and they had to use a name called Pogo to to uh, bypass all of our passwords to get into our apps and to to record our apps. So I know the officer that did it. Um, I know the, the, about the date and time they started doing it. I know everything. It's it's in my it's in my fucking it's in my folders. I got like fucking two thousand pages worth of briefs, and it's all up in there. The dude's name is uh, Michael Michael Wedgwood. He's the detective that did it. He's the one that's been getting into all of our shit, our Facebook messengers, our YouTube's, and he's using an app called Pogo. Okay, uh, using an app, using an app, oh, oh. David. Okay, I did not see his name anywhere on the, that investigation. Uh, he's, he's the one, he, the transcript shows, on my transcripts, it shows that he's the one that they used to bust into mine and get all my information. My YouTube, my Facebook, wow. all that. So maybe maybe they had another investigation on you with another with another department. Well, it's funny you say yeah, yeah. that. Yeah, there. Uh, dude, now Punta Gorda's trying to get me because I did a story on a on a dirty cop that uh, illegally trespassed me, and I posted his uh, address uh, in the story, and they tried to get me for posting his address. Which, uh, as a reporter, you cannot. That's fine. That's legal. <laughs> so they're pissed off at you, huh? Oh, dude, they, they are trying really hard. <laughs> oh, yeah, so when you get out, I really, really need you to use all of your tricks to get all the documents on that illegal investigation you did on us because they won't give us 50 of them. And I know, do we not have the right to get the affidavits to see what the hell they were saying to the uh, to YouTube. Yes, especially since, it's, especially if it's been dropped, because now because it's not in an ongoing investigation. No, it's supposed to be public right. record. You are. And they won't give it to me. So we're we're, we're going to need you uh, because you're poor oh, and you know that you can do your pro se and you can you can do stuff that I can't do. I I literally have to lawyer get a lawyer to get the rest of the uh, documents. Yeah, that ain't no good. I agree. So they're hiding stuff in there that they do not want us to know that they looked into and got. Well, yeah, they don't want us to. They don't want us to know that they violated Riley versus California and, and KC versus State of Florida and Small versus State of Florida. They totally, without a warrant, got into all of our shit. Everybody, every one of ours, without a warrant, they got into all of our shit. Man, it's against the law. Man, it's against the Constitution of the United States. It's a violation of the Fourth Amendment. 
Correct. So that's a big one when you get out. Of, uh, get out. Also, Keith, yesterday, did you guys get the newspaper there? No, we don't get the newspaper here. Okay, yesterday in the newspaper, tell everyone there, uh, on the front page paper, the Charlotte County Sun is asking for everybody that has not been given the medical treatment that they need, John Hackworth wants their story. John Hackworth of the Charlotte County Sun wants any, any inmate story from any uh, medical malpractice that's been given by the Charlotte County Jail. So Dead serious. Front page paper yesterday. No shit. I have it. I have, to, I have to go see him because I actually have, I put in a request because doctor, my, 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 neuro, my neurosurgeon doctor said I have to be on Nicanta. Right? And he also said that he don't want me doing jack shit until I get my four inch lift, right? So I put in a so I put in a medical request for my uh, Nucanta and my four inch uh, uh, prescription heel toe lift. And guess what? They wrote me they wrote me back saying we're not gonna give you neither one. And I got it in my paperwork. I got it in my paperwork. I got the, I got the, the doctor's signature saying we will not provide. Wow. And I got Check this out. There's, uh, uh, the reporter knows of a story where uh, this lady had owed some money for a fine. They told uh, The lady told the uh, cop, Charter County Sheriff, don't arrest me. I'm getting a heart surgery. I need a special pill. They did it anyway. Didn't give her the pill while she was in jail. And guess what? She had a heart attack. She's dead. Correct. Oh, damn. Uh, also, too, there's uh, since you've been in there, there's another lawsuit against the jail. Uh, I forget the name and who, but there is. You guys already know that two uh, jail cops got fired there, right, for uh, uh, hitting somebody so hard a tooth came through his face? No. Yes. Two jail cops there were busted. Um, uh, you know, actually, maybe they haven't been there since you've been there. Uh, I think it was last year. They hit a guy so hard uh, that a uh, uh, broker's tooth came through his face. We are shocked. They were actually arrested and fired. Arrested? Yes. Is that rare? That's very rare. I can understand fired, but arrested? Yeah, that throws me for a loop. Well, dude, it's, it's battery, correct? It is battery. As a matter of fact, it's better by excessive force because the only re the only reason or the only the only reason a CO is supposed to touch you in an act of force is if you are uh, in danger if you if they feel in fear of you because they think you're gonna they're gonna you're gonna endanger their safety or are a endangerment to the safety of the facility. Them are the two right. elements of them are the two and only elements of law that a that a, um, a, a dealer or a CO can touch you in a physical aggressive manner. <laughs> wow. All right, they, dude, they did it. They, uh, I, I think he did it just to make himself look good because uh, we thought he wasn't going to run, but uh, now we think he's going to run. What, the cop? No, we, we think, uh, we thought Bill Pamel wasn't going to run for office, but now unfortunately he is. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That's no good. Correct. Can you, can you peek at the screen? Yeah, it's it's kind of foggy. Look at that front page news yesterday, dude. Oh yeah. Well, when I get out, I'll have to uh, get a hold of them. That is correct. How? Okay, so can you start making notes for people there uh, that are gonna uh, still be in there when you leave? Yeah, I can get a few names and see if. Uh, yeah, get yeah. it. So they're claiming uh, um, that it, they can't get the medical documents because of TIPA. Do you think the paper can get the uh, uh, complaint papers about not getting medical? Would that be uh, 
the only the only way they can do that because they are HIPAA protected is if the individual like me signs a release form and allows them to get it, or or, to, or I personally take a release uh, take a form to them and physically give it to them myself and give them permission to run it and sign a sign a release a, a written release. That's the only way they can do it. Unfortunately, uh, they can't get it from the medical department. And even if someone in did you hear my did you hear my way around HIPAA? My idea is let's get the complaint. Let's get what? If you get the complaint form, a complaint form is not you know totally HIPAA. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's a complaint. But as soon as you ask for a medical subject, it turns into uh, HIPAA. And they're going to call it. Yeah. All right, that sucks. Um, okay, since you've been in there, I got, I got a couple things that I have uh, found out. Um, uh, okay, we did the hospital thing. Uh, we talked about the illegal investigation on us. Dude, you got to get all the documents. That is outrageous. Um, also, too, we've been finding information on uh, there. Anybody that questions the government, like you, they're calling a sovereign citizen. You probably got a bolo. They're probably sending it all over Florida and to the Florida Fusion Center. <laughs> oh, shit. Do you, do you remember Stephanie, the one from Northport? Yeah. Dude, we found her son's bolo that says sovereign citizen, and they sent it everywhere. She's so pissed she's going to sue their ass. No doubt. But for defamation of character? A lawsuit that, dude, oh my god, dude, there, that's a lawsuit that's uh, probably six months to a year, federal civil class action lawsuit. You cannot believe the records we're finding. Uh, if I have a sticker that's anti-government, I'm a sovereign citizen. If I have a flag that's an adult tread on me, I'm a sovereign citizen. It's just so fucked up. Now, why, why the flag, man? That's the original United States flag. They, so what they're trying to do is build a database of people that you know they can say are you know because supposedly all sovereign citizens uh, you know kill cops, which is bullcrap. So they're trying to make a list and make an excuse uh, to treat you like shit and treat you differently, which is illegal for us, correct? Well, that's that's because they're afraid of us because we we will be the ones that take the Second Amendment, and we will be the ones that go to uh, the legislation, and we will be the ones that move for a declaration of war against the government. And they know this, so they're scared. Correct. Correct. A absolutely correct. And it's funny that you're mentioning... Okay, so do you know why we're finding out more about the sovereign citizen thing? Remember Robert... Uh, um, badly. <laughs> Uh -oh. Hold on, you're breaking in and out again. They're fucking with us again. Yeah, I can't hear you. They're, you're cutting in and out, in and out, in and out. There you go, you're clear right, again. Can you hear me now? Yeah, you're clear again. Okay. Yeah, dude, this is the worst connection ever since I talked to you. Uh, you should ask for your money back. <laughs> um, the guy from Naples, um, we found out that he might be on a sovereign citizen polo, dude. If they said if that happens, they're going to double the lawsuit. No shit. By the way, they are getting close to winning on that. It has not gone to court. She's, going, she's doing depositions with all the dirty cops, and they're looking really bad. Um, and um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, I moved for depositions in my case, and they refused me, and they've been refusing me witnesses. I had to do a writ of prohibitation in the Supreme Court to get the judge to give me my witnesses and my evidence. That's why it hasn't went to trial yet. Wow. Okay, what, what's their reason? Oh, no, you'll never believe it. The judge said that due to the clerk's, uh, due to the clerk's order of, of uh, criminal rule and pr 3.220 that they do not have to they do not have to comply and give me witnesses and evidence. 
Well, that's that's bullshit. Because I was trying to file my subpoenas, and they wouldn't file wouldn't file my subpoenas under that. And I got the judge on 12 5, uh, 18, I got him in open court admitting that he will not serve my subpoenas due to criminal rule and procedure 3.220. Well, I, I ended up uh, looking up rule 3.220, and guess what it is. It's subpoena for depositions only. Even in the case law, it says this rule is not for trial subpoenas. So they've been refusing me evidence and witnesses illegally. Wow. So I found a writ of prohibitation in the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court's watching the case right now very carefully. They just granted me fucking witnesses Monday. I go to court, or uh, Friday. I go to court Monday to do another demand for speedy trial. And now this time they got witness management there to, to supposedly grant my subpoenas and my evidence. Okay, so this time, okay, so this time when you get out, you've got the evidence to show them that the, they're absolutely... What? Uh, conspiracy? Retaliation? What? Oh, man. Conspiracy all the way. I got fucking... They entered my phone records, right? Okay, the police report says I, I called... The police report says I called from 6... To, uh, 6... To, uh, 19, 18, all the way through 721, five times a day per day. Okay? I get, I get my phone records. There's three on them within the... There's two phone calls within the 30-day period. Okay? Now, now get this. They're saying that I called repeatedly more than five times a day on the tw on 622-18. Well, this was when I was in jail. And then, uh, guess, who, guess who the property, the, the jail property deputy clerk is? Brenda Schatz. Brenda Schatz. Her mother. And Dude, that's dirty. That's dirty. So then, then I was I was granted Judge Bell granted me the rights to uh, to do my investigation against Deputy Shots. So I was doing my investigation, and Sergeant Cruz said that if I don't if I don't stop my investigation, she's going to give me a DR. So and then I, I took it in front of Judge Bell, and he says and because they ordered a no contact for me to stop my investigation. So I took it in front of Judge Bell, and Judge Bell says, I'm not going to honor this. He has the right to finish his investigation. So I went to finish my investigation. She did give me a DR, and that's why I'm back in medical. Right. And, uh, but then I was, I was still able to finish the investigation, and I found out that they, they, they took my phone, and I got the paperwork and everything, man. Everything solid paper. I had it all on proof. Okay, they, they took my phone at 945. The phone call started, started uh, at 10, at 10, around 1030. My phone number, uh, my phone was shut off. It was put into a room by the corporal. It was zip-tied and locked, and Mrs. Brendeshatz didn't get it until the following day, okay? Well, the phone call started, the, the, uh, it shows that while my phone was off, my phone number was transferred to another number, and that number made 17 phone calls uh, to, different, to, to different places, all while my phone was shut off, and they're trying to say that, that I called and harassed her 17 times, and the phone was shut down. It was transferred to another number. I need somebody that can do a hack, and and because I know damn well, I just know that it goes to a, a trap phone in the, in the state attorney's office, and they're the ones that made them 17 phone calls. Because my phone was shut off, and it was locked in a room with, where nobody could get it. So nobody could have made them 17 phone calls. Yeah, that's very sad. And I've already subpoenaed the cop, the two cops that said it. I subpoenaed her mother. I said, I got my phone records. I'm subpoenaing the YMCA's phone records. Dude, I heard, I heard another way somebody can do it is they call it ghosting your phone, which basically copies it. I I don't know how that works, but I know I know he said that he used Pogo to get into my phone, so they already had access to anything they needed or wanted. All they had to do was fucking yeah. hit that Pogo button. Right. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. Yes, I have not heard of Pogo. It's I think it's P E G G O is how it's spelled, I believe. And it's what, you actually got that in documents? Oh, yeah, I got it in court transcript. 
the, they, put the, they put the detective they put the detective on the stand and they asked him, say, how did you break McGee's security? I had to use an app called Pogo. Or Pego or whatever. It's P-E-G-G-O. Uh, I'm trying to find it. Okay, by the way, so is it, okay, is the jail getting worse, better, what's going on? Um, actually it's getting better. Um, the only, the only bad thing I could say about it right now, and they're trying to fix that, is the, the dinner meals are always ice cold, no matter what. But they're trying to fix it the last, like the last, I don't know, almost month, they've been kind of warm, sometimes even hot. So they're trying to, they're trying to, to fix it and get it under control. Right. Oh. Other than that, are you still any better, or like you said, you're still not getting your stuff? Oh, they'll never give me my meds or nothing. Um, they're still trying to refuse me my my legal work. Um, I was court I was court ordered to get a hundred pieces because they refused they were refusing me to give me paper to do my legal work. So I put a motion in I put in a motion before Judge Bell. They ordered me uh, and, I, and I moved for a hundred sheets of paper a week and he said granted. Well, because he didn't on the court order he didn't say granted a hundred sheets of paper a week. He just said McGee's uh, motion for paper granted. So because of that, they're saying, well, he didn't put a number on it. So they've been giving me 50 and 20. Well, they've, for the first three months, they gave me 50. But for the last two mo uh, month, they've been giving me 20 sheets per week. So they're violating a court order right there. Yeah, they're, they're, all, they're, they're really, they, they like to violate court orders, I'll tell you that. They don't want to listen to the judges. They think they're above the judges. But it's only the it's only the brass that think that the rest of the COs they're pretty good. It's only the brass like the the sergeants and the it's well to be honest with you it's Lieutenant uh, Long or I mean it's Sergeant Cruz Lieutenant Long and Lieutenant Carter they're the ones that are are uh, jumping my nutsack. Wow! Why? I, mean, I don't know if it's because they don't like me or if because they just they feel like they're above the judge, but they're totally refusing the court orders that the judge orders. So I don't I don't know if they're doing it because they think they're Billy really Badass with a badge and they don't have to listen to the courts, or if, or if it's something personal against me. Right. Wow. Wow. Uh, we uh. There's another story I from you uh, since you've been in. I broke the biggest story ever. What's that? Guess what I found out. The sh guess what I found the sh out. The sheriff has illegally. What's that? A list of gun owners. Oh really? Dude, it's uh when you get your chance to get legal stuff. It's uh, statute. It's seven ninety point three three five. Uh, prohibited firearm list. It's a third degree felony, five million dollar fine, and we can sue them. Foo, you should put. Is your attorney on it? Uh, we, multiple attorneys are on it, dude. This statute is so awesome. It literally says the state attorney general Ashley Moody must enforce the law. And she must use the local state attorneys to help with that. <laughs> well, that, that's a kick in the fucking teeth. It is. But right now, everybody uh, Internal Affairs is investigating Charlotte County Sheriff and a crap load of other uh, deputies that were uh, messing with this list of gun owners. No shit. So that, that dude, that one is huge. When we found out he had a list, uh, because my friend was on it, you don't know this guy that I know, uh, we found out he was on it, then we started asking for other places, Sarasota uh, gave me their list, unredacted, dude. Unredacted? I have their names, their middle names, their uh, birth date, the gun, the date, everything. Damn, you got lucky on that, Mark. I did. Uh, I filed an internal investigation on uh, Sheriff Tom Knight and the records department. And uh, two hours later, I was sitting in Lekovic. Okay, you're breaking up again. 
Hello? Okay, you're back on now. Two hours, two hours later. Two hours later, I'm in Leskovich's uh, lawyer's office. I get an email. They're threatening me with criminal action if I don't rip it up and uh, and I if I share it. Have they given it to you? Once they give it to you, it's out of their control. It's your property now, not theirs. It's worse than that. I have evidence in a criminal matter. I am a witness, and they threaten the witness. Tampering with a witness. Yeah. Like that? Yeah, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> too, bad, too bad it wasn't this county. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey. Okay, the emails that they gave us, uh, so far what we got is six emails. They're huge. They blacked out all the names, but we have all the names. Dude, you should see the list of deputies that are involved. It's big. It's large. Uh, John Heck is on there. A bunch of them are on there. Everybody that touched this and was profiling, and they were, they were literally saying, they were literally telling each other, if you see somebody on here that you're not sure about, let's try to w figure out how we can work a case against them. No shit. Hell yeah, that's profiling. That, that, and that, it's entrapment. Absolutely. It's what one? And, and it's an entrapment. It is. It is. There was another email that stated, look at all these women buying guns. I bet they're buying it for their criminal husbands or boyfriends. Let's investigate them. <laughs> well, that's invasion of privacy. <laughs> all right, you're breaking up again. No, you're still breaking up. No, still breaking up. All right, here there you go. Hear me now. Now you're, now you're good. Yeah, dude, this is the worst connection ever. I hope you make a complaint. This is, what, is this a new old one you're using, or what? Uh, no, it's a fairly new one. All right, uh, there, there's other stuff that, so that's a huge case. Yep, I can see that. I, <laughs> I got the camera pointed underneath the computer. Um... You're missing some other stuff. I don't know if you heard rumor uh, Ian's channel got taken down. For what? Uh, they said harassment. I think the cops did it. For for harassment, so, <laughs> harassment and stalking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, actually, it's funny you mention that. Yeah, since you went away, he uh, his numbers went. Through the roof, he was, dude. He was making four grand a month. Oh my god! Damn. Now did they get him? He was literally, he was literally stalking, harassing women and children and old ladies for money. Really? Uh, yes. I can, so I, he met in court. No, I can. I can. I can. I got a case law for him, um, and I can. I can recite. I can recite it right now. Um, Blum or uh, Scott versus Blum. S S C O T T versus Blum. B L U M. State of Florida. Um, uh, Horowitz. The H O R O W I T Z S versus Hurwitz versus Hurwitz. Um, uh, David versus Texter T E X T O R. Uh, um, David versus Texter. Uh, um, oh, the, the best one of all is. Uh, hold on. Oh, I gotta think of it. Ah, uh, oh my God, it's uh, P I C K E T T versus Copeland okay. versus Copeland C O P E L A N D. It says flat out, and, and one of them is even from the Supreme Court. I don't remember which one, but it says flat out that if you are on your your public YouTube, your public Facebook, and you are um, making videos or comments, posts or blogs to right. for for other people to read and other people to see, it is not harassment or stalking under Florida State Statute seven. Four eight oh four eight dash two. You're breaking up again. I didn't like that. <laughs> okay.
Okay, here's one. This is the one where an old lady is at the farmer's market. He was going to the farmer's market with his camera holding a sign saying, fuck the police, fuck the county, all that shit. Uh, which I appreciate that. Uh, there was a lady at a booth that was older. He went there three different times, three different weekends, and the last time he really harassed her big time because she tried to file a restraining order. She took it to court and won. Everybody, well, yeah, they're going to give her a restraining order. They have to by law, unfortunately. Right. If, even if it was him making a complaint against her, they would have had to give one on her. Uh, on, but he should have went to court in 15 days, and they, sh and they should have uh, heard the evidence to see if there was uh, enough evidence for an injunction. Well, uh, he, he did not go to court with the lawyer. He should have. Now he is going to appeal it with Kevin Shirley. Uh, and, uh, dude, it was a woman judge. I forget her name. So here you got a woman crying that's older, and then you got the judge acting as the woman that's attorney almost literally we got the recording a hundred foot radius restraining order plus they took a 15 grand worth of his gun ooch yeah that, unfortunately that's part of the law but he can get them back uh, right. one, once the restraining order is over with but uh no, see with me it was different because they're saying I was harassing and stuff uh, harassing and stalking by making the videos. See, so he was actually going. He was actually going there and fucking with this person uh, specifically. Well, he wasn't. So he was. Well, he wasn't touching her, but he was physically going to her booth three different weekends, three different times, and the last time he was literally harassing her because she didn't get the instant restraining order. Uh, he wouldn't even post that video because he knows that would have put him in, that might have put him in jail even. Who knows? Yeah, well, yeah, because the way the statute reads is it says that it has to be directed at a particular or specific person. So when he was going there, see, when he was going there and he was picking her booth and he did it consistently to see her, then yes, he's directing it at a specific person, a particular person. Unfortunately, they're going to find him guilty. All right, then that's his fault, correct? Uh, correct. He should have. He should have not. Uh, the, it's not against the law to do YouTube or Facebook videos and talk about somebody until you're blue in the face. But if right. if you if, if, you know, if you take it and post it and send it to their email, then you're sending it directly to them. If you take it, copy it, and mail it to their mailing address, then you're then you're sending it directly to them. Uh, he did not do that, but he did go there three different weekends just to see her and to get it on video. Yeah, that was that was his fault. I do admit he does get a chance. Uh, he, put I, he put it under somebody else's name. He literally did it from YouTube. Oh man, that sucks. Oh. So it is coming back. Um, I do admit we hate each other. Since you've been in there, he tried to illegally strike my channel down, dude. Again? Again. Fuck, that's cold. Yeah, so, so yeah, this is getting stupid. Uh, uh, in fact, Skidmore just called up and threatened me. That was not cool. Who's Skidmore? Um, uh, I used to be a commissioner. It's uh, Ian's buddy. Uh, is that the one that where he was going to the uh, county county building? Uh, yeah, he was in court one day, and he was at the uh, dump place with uh, Ian one day. Yeah, okay, I think I know who you're talking about. Uh, since you've been in two, I think Ian is up to uh, uh, eight or nine trespasses now. Damn. <laughs> now, if... Doesn't that get to a point where you can show the court that it's absolutely retaliatory? 
Um, no, I don't know if you can prove it's uh, retaliatory or not, but you can probably show harassment because as long as as long as he's not violating any laws, for them to right. uh, for the for them to con uh, continuously follow him, I mean, it's just like stalking the charge that he's at. If they're, if they're continually following him and continually giving him trespasses, uh, directing this this uh, criminal activity towards him personally, uh, it's it's harassment and stalking, just as if it would uh, just as if he was doing it to this lady. It's the same thing. They're they're not uh, they're not uh, they have to obey the laws too. They they're not special. They don't shoot gold nuggets. Correct. So yeah, it's a lot of stuff has happened. To, so this time when you get out, you're going to stay out for a while, or they're going to try to put you right back in? Well, I'm not going to have anything to put me in for, because number one, I'm, I'm, I still have I'm, I'm maxed out my sentence. Even though I still have trial, I maxed it out. So even if I lose the trial, I still, they still can't put me in jail, because I've served, I've served my maximum. So uh, I'm out for good unless they try to hem me up on something else. Right. Um, I, I actually uh, pulled up another thing but since you're here. I got the email about the gun list uh, that the sheriff did. Uh, okay, I don't know if you can see it or not. Okay, so that's the email. I'm going to scroll down to where they start blacking it out. Look at all that black. Holy shit. Dude, that's a lot, <laughs> that's a lot of names. Yeah, it the is. The fun part, look at all those cops involved. John Heck, Terry Cochran, John Sadler, Douglas Coleman, Christopher Farley, Richard Kaufman, Dan Wolke, Christopher Barras, Brad Stent, Roland Light, oh, that fucking bastard, I hate his guts, uh, Jeanette Schultz, uh, Herman Morales, Robert White, Donald White, Christopher Kearney, William... Bill Promel's uncle... And guess who else is in here? Matthew Dowling. He's a piece of shit. Christopher Williams. Is that enough? That's that's plenty. There's three. Ah. Oh, there you are. You're back now. I can't hear you. Huh? You're still breaking in and out, but I can see you now. There you go. Now you're back. All right. Now you're back. I think I accidentally pushed the wrong button. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was wondering what was going on. It's like, damn. Now, you know, I, uh, I go to court tomorrow, but I should I should be getting out uh, the 22nd. If my, son, my, my son said he's going to come and pick me up at midnight, but I haven't been able to get a hold of him, so I don't know if he's still going to. If he comes and gets me at midnight, then I get out the 21st at midnight. Why do they do that, dude? I'd rather get out at midnight than 9 o'clock in the morning. I had to call Donald right because I got like 50 pounds of fucking legal work. Alright, yeah, I was just going to say that maybe you should call Donald right, dude. I did. I, I went both routes just in case to protect myself. Exactly. So like you said, so for the moment, you're, you're, you're going to at least stay out for a while. Well, I'm going to try, but I'm sure they're going to try to whip up another batch of something. Because I'm coming after him. I'm going to sue him. I'm coming after him. And I already told every one of them. Got, well, here's another example. Like I said, you need to start pulling records to see if they called you a sovereign citizen, too. That's freaking... Dude, if, you, if, you, if they did, you should get them on that. Like I said, there's a lawyer that wants to do a federal civil rights lawsuit on that. That's, that's profiling. If you have no redress, that's bullshit, right? Right. 
So yeah, I you know when you get out, absolutely dig into that. You got to dig into that illegal. By the way, I got I got here's another one for you on the illegal investigation they did on us, Rodney. Uh, you're breaking in and out again. No, breaking in and out again. Son of a bitch. No, I can't hear you. Keep on. It's like stumble, stumble, stumble. No. Come on. No, it's just, you keep cutting in and out. No, you're still cutting in and out. <laughs> no, you're still cutting in and out. Yeah, motherfuckers. There you go. Now you're back in. All right. Uh, the illegal investigation. What? Tell me if this is. Tell me if this is your bed. In that paperwork that you need to get on the illegal investigation, they did. They literally admitted in the document and on the audio interview with the with the victim that they illegally took your video down off of Facebook and YouTube, dude. The, your video was not illegal. No, it wasn't. And they took it out. Did they real? And they said that they admitted this in, on the thing. In the paperwork and on video, is that not violation of your right? That is violation of my rights because I have the right to freedom of press and freedom of speech. That's right. Sue their ass on that one. Well, I, need that. I need that paperwork saying that they took it down. So I'm going to need that. We're going to have to get, get in contact with each other. They actually said, now this is the one where I called out the judges about the, 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 the rapes, right? That is correct. Oh, and they took it, and they physically took it down, refusing me my rights to, to uh, speech and... and uh, That's right. Oh yeah, I need that. I need that paperwork. I fucking add that to my fucking lawsuit. Is that nice and juicy? <laughs> that is nice and juicy. I like that a lot. And what's the state? What's the state's attorney that said they did it? Or was it was it the shot that said they did it? No, it's interesting. No, it's interesting. It it was. Uh, you see the report. All the shit that they did, dude. It it was. Oh my god, they were they were following my Facebook. They were following YouTube. Any video that I made. I first with you in jail where I told you they said, see, he admitted that he violated the law. I didn't fucking violate the law. I am freedom of speech and press. I can mention the name if I want to. It's government that cannot, correct? Correct. Well, well, you're not allowed. You're not allowed to to mention victims of rape. But I didn't mention the victim's no. name. The victim. No. The, guess what? What? You guess what? Yes. You can. It's case law. So, oh yeah. Well, yeah. Case law is case law is public knowledge. Yes, correct. So, so this is what makes it worse too for this case, dude. They knew. I told them. I told uh, the uh, Jacob Hawkins boss they couldn't do it. They did it anyways. I told the Meyer Fox and they did it anyways. I told Bill Trammell. And they did it anyway. Doesn't that make it worse when they knowingly violated the law on your rights? Yes, it does. Because then, because right. then it's malicious, and it's called malicious intent. Yeah, oh, dude, when you read the report, it's malicious intent up the ass. And like I said, I paid a, a, a I forget how much money I pay. A, 35 bucks or whatever, 130 documents, I only got 67. So they're hiding all those illegal affidavits uh, to get into Facebook, YouTube, my internet, my internet provider. It was outrageous, dude. You know what I think is in there, too? I think maybe the Stingray papers are in there. You know, it's a funny thing you should say that because right before I got a real parked a, a car right by the, the picnic tables where I hang out at. And I was like, man, they got the stingray on us. And the, everybody was like, no, 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 they don't, no, they don't, no, they don't. I said, yeah, yes, they do. Well, I was looking up in the tree and I seen two fucking owls. And they were both males. And I was thinking to myself when I was arrested and I was in jail, I was like, oh, wait a second, two male owls, they'll kill each other. They will not sit perched next to each other like love doves. They'll kill each other.
So they had some kind of uh, video or recording device, and they had it uh, look to look like two male owls perched together on a tree. And I should have thought about it when I seen it, because I've studied, I've watched birds almost my whole life, and I know that right. the male hawks, male hawks, male eagles, uh, male uh, owls, uh, shit like that, they, you can't put them together side by side. They'll tear each other a fucking part. Right. You know, so, uh, so I know. I've already got documents that there's so many people at Turk on Sheriff's office that they've trained to be so-called NSA, CIA, KGB. The shit that they're doing is outrageous here, dude. Oh, uh, yeah. Hopefully this gun list thing uh, can push it over the edge. Like I said, it's $5 million max, third-degree felony for people that touch this shit. You just saw the list. Did I not show you the list? Uh-oh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Okay. Are, you I got you again. Okay, are you back? Yeah. Okay, so, okay, so you, you saw the list, dude. Is, is that a bunch of people that need to be in trouble for having a gun list? Yeah, that's a bunch of people that need to be in trouble for having a gun list. Even, even fired and terminated. Uh, that is correct. I forgot, well, if you're charged with a third degree felony, they better be fired. Right. Okay, how many names did you know in there? I knew three, the Whites and Farley. Okay, Farley's good or bad? Um, Farley, he's never really, I mean, he's always been, uh, to the nose to the book, kind of grindstone kind of guy, but he's never really actually fucked with me illegally. He's never, right. you know, he's never given me cause to, to want to, uh, uh, look to see if he's good or bad. You know, he's always done it by the book. So I really can't say right. nothing bad about him, except maybe neo-Nazi. Right. <laughs> right. Wow. We, we just found out the same guy that broke open this, uh, gunless story. Uh, we found out he is in Northport Police Department uh, computer system, 2015. Dude, this is really scary. FDLE sent out a notice all over the state of Florida and America that this guy that blew, you know, he likes guns a lot. Nothing wrong with that. That's illegal. Dude, they sent it all over the United States. ATF, Homeland Security, DOJ. It was on fucking real. Just because he likes guns. 2015, yep. He got his, he got his uh, uh, concealed carry July, and two months later, they sent that notice out all over the United States, man. We still can't figure out what what the hell for. I, it, just because he likes guns or because he, ha he likes a lot of guns, we don't know. But we know that that is bullshit, smearing his name like that just because he likes guns, correct? Correct, but the reason they're doing it is because they're trying to keep track of people that uh, are, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to say anti-government, I'm going to say uh, uh, constitutionally uh, worried. Right. Uh, and, and, out for the, and out for we the people. Because right. they, they don't want a they don't want a monotony they don't want a monotony or whatever it's called uh, of people with guns going to the legis right. going to the senate state senate and saying look man something needs to be done or we claim you know the, the the right to power we claim the right to overthrow and so they want to know uh, which, huh which the founding father said we can if it gets out of hand correct most definitely under the second constitution of the United States that's the right that's what the declaration of war is all about well and like I said that's why when you get out you got to see the documents that got on sovereign citizens the bolos uh, uh, that we found um, uh, what else and then you got then you got to start pulling records to see if they did it to you because I'm almost 100 percent for sure they had Dude, I can't even imagine what they call you. I mean, <laughs> what, what, a legal terrorist? Is that what do you think? I don't know. I don't, I'm going to find out. I'll have to do a records. What kind of records request did you do to get the information? On, on what? On, on what? Yeah. Uh, 
Um, I'm a sovereign citizen? Yeah. Um, yeah, Sunshine Law requests for uh, all, all bolos on sovereign citizens, and we haven't got a lot yet. They're actually trying to claim confidentiality on that, which is bullshit. That's my, I don't get that. But we did get a couple, and we got we got a couple lawyers that are pissed, dude. I'll try, I'll try just requesting my personal uh, record. Yes, you know, that because I believe you know this is true. If, if it's yours, you have the right to see it unredacted, correct? Right, because it's yours. Yes. Unless, right. unless there's some kind of legal investigation pending. Uh, that is true. You got me there. But if there ain't some kind of a legal investigation pending, then they, they, yeah, they have to produce. They can charge you. <laughs> what? They can charge you, but they have to produce. True. Uh, I forgot to tell you, since I saw you two, uh, let me see, I... Uh, I almost got, uh, okay, I went to Drug Free Charlotte County. Uh, I was showing the uh, the people at Drug Free Charlotte County that had a run. I was showing them a sign with all the people that were busted for drugs, deputies, and they were never charged and arrested. L Lieutenant John Hack was in plain clothes. Please, please kick me out of a public place and a public event. And he touched me, dude, doing it. Is that assault? Yes. Thank you. So he is also under investigation for that. He uh, illegally touched me, kicking me out, uh, and, you know, he illegally kicked me out. Also, too, when I realized who he was, do you realize that's the same fucker that investigated us, dude? You're going to see his name on the papers when you get out. Oh, uh, damn. I can't wait to. It is a piece. I can't wait to see them papers because I can't believe they took my Facebook down and my YouTube. The Facebook is there. The, no, the, okay, your Facebook and YouTube is there. They took the video down, like you said. That is a violation of free speech because you were doing a story on corruption. Correct. Correct. Corruption. Yeah. Corruption of the government that allowed rape. So, absolutely. So here's the good news. Since you saw me, I still don't got a lawyer signed, but I'm getting close. Uh, have you heard of Marie Maddox, civil rights lawyer in Tallahassee? Marie Maddox. No, but I think I've seen. I think I've seen her name in a couple of case laws. Though I've seen. I've seen Maddox in a couple of case laws. She's good. She is good. So she is thinking about taking on some of my cases. Um, I'm supposed to meet with uh, another lawyer, uh, civil rights lawyer, Tampa, Ken Dandar. Um, I'm supposed to meet with another civil rights lawyer that I got from NPPA, National Press Photographers Association, uh, Luke LaRue in Tampa. He is a huge civil rights lawyer. You ever seen his name? And what's his last name? Luke LaRue, L-I-R-O-T. True. Maybe. It's, it sounds kind of familiar. Yeah, Google his name. You know, I was like, dude, I never heard of you. He's like, are you fucking kidding me? He goes, Google my name and find me. He does civil rights for porn. Woo! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, he knows the NPPA. I joined the NPPA. It costs 125 bucks, but it's worth it because they got lawyers. Yeah, they do. Um, and uh, so hopefully that's coming up in the near future. We're down to 30 seconds. What do you want to tell the public? I just want to tell them I'm getting up pretty soon and watch my video because they will be back up. Absolutely, dude. Crucify him. Dude, it is so corrupt, man. I mean, it, it's mind-blowing. Oh, yeah. Dad, remember to tell everybody that they have uh, that the newspaper wants medical stuff. I will. That's huge. That's You're breaking up again. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Hey, Sheriff County. This is Sheriff County Cop Watch. I am using any video here with under fair use. If you uh, have criticism, reporting, teaching, etc., and please donate. I do not make money from YouTube, and uh, there are different ways to donate in the uh, video links. Thanks.